Hi everyone, today we're talking about Leaf Spy. To check a Leaf's battery, first you're going to need a device to plug into the OBD port. This is the AliLink device that we sell on our website, which is shop.driveev.co.nz. This is the one that Leaf Spy recommend and we find the best for the job. Once you plug in, there's two variations of the Leaf. The UK one has, it, has the mount here and the Japanese one has it here. Once you're plugged in, you need to make sure that your green down the bottom, that's confirming that you're connected. You also need to make sure that the leaf is in ready mode so that you can see all the modules if required. The basics are the state of health. That's what everyone talks about. That's the SOH or state of health. So on this vehicle here, it's 74.52%. Uh, the next important one is the chassis number of the vehicle which is displayed at the bottom left of the text. That confirms that you're looking at the right report for the vehicle. We've got the quick charge count here. That's how many fast charges have been plugged into this car, whether it be for 5 seconds or for 50 minutes. That counts as one. Next up you've got your L1 and L2 which is your AC charging. That number there might be quite high if the owner has been using charge timers because that has multiple counts per charge. Not something people get concerned about. Top right we've got the millivolts. So that is these 96 bars on the graph here are the 96 cells in your leaf pack. This number here is the voltage difference between the lowest volt and the highest volt cell so on this vehicle 18 millivolts is the difference this figure is really important because it can indicate if you've got a an issue with a, a cell that's low on voltage which often needs replacing if that number's over say 50 especially if it's over 100 then you've got a problem this problem won't be pointed out by the state of health you might have an amazing state of health but that won't tell you that and until this gets to about 200 millivolts, the vehicle won't actually tell you either. So Leaf Spy is a really good way of checking that. And that's the story on Leaf Spy, the basics.